702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Today we will be hitting up the MGM Grand Buffet right here on the Las Vegas Strip. When I think of where to eat in Las Vegas, the first thing I think of is a buffet. Vegas is known for having such a wide range of dining options, but buffets have been a popular and important part of the city's dining culture. Many of the city's top hotels used to offer buffets with unique themes such as gourmet or international cuisine. They would have prime rib nights or even seafood nights. And this variety and at the time budget friendly option made Las Vegas buffets a major draw for tourists. And it's helped establish them as a popular tradition in the city. After 2020, many of the buffets slowly disappeared. There's a lot of them that still sit abandoned and a lot of them are being switched out for the more trendy option of a food hall. But the MGM Grand still has their buffet located right on the casino floor. I was able to grab a two for one deal on the My Vegas app and I finally made the trip out. This buffet has a 3.6 star rating out of five on Google with over 5,500 reviews. Not the best ranking, but I thought I'd come check it out and share my experience with you and let you guys know if it's worth the price. It's open daily from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. So only breakfast, brunch, and lunch. No dinner time currently. Monday through Thursday, the price is $27.99. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the price will be $36.99. And then kids five years or under will eat complimentary. First of all, the ambiance here is pretty standard. It's well lit and the seating is pretty comfortable. The restaurant feels pretty spacious and there's plenty of tables for the guests. I've been to a lot of the buffets around town, but mostly as a kid when it was more budget friendly. More than half of the ones that I remember are gone. I've been wanting to check out the ones that are still around to see if it's still worth it. The prices at most of them around are pretty high, especially for someone like me who doesn't eat a big meal in one setting. But I love the idea of a buffet. Not only is it nostalgic for me, but I love that I get to pick everything on my plate and how much of it that I want. Another thing I love about buffets is that as soon as you get to the table, you really don't even have to sit down. You can get up and start eating right away. No waiting for a server, no waiting to look at the menu. Let's go eat. Here is the beverage station. Looks like they got the Coca-Cola Classics. We've got some coffee, which I am definitely heading to milk, 2% chocolate milk. With a freestyle, basically, you can choose a whole bunch of different types and you can add different types of flavors to that, but Eddie just pointed out that they have agua fresca, pineapple, horchata, mango lime, and strawberry hibiscus. Ooh, get vanilla cream soda. It's hard to find a place to start. Usually I would say salads, but I tend to skip the salad. When it comes to a buffet, I love salads, but you know, you gotta get your money's worth. This is a seafood station. They've got mussels, clams, shrimp. There is some um, sushi over here. Ooh, it looks like he's making pizzas in there. We've got mixed vegetables. There is, what does that say? There's some sort of chicken dish. DYI charcuterie, where you can get some cheeses and meats. Hopefully I said that correctly. Mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, barbecue pork ribs. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. Cheese tortellini, that looks really good, and also some fried shrimp. All right, so here are the pizzas that he was making just a second ago. So you have cheese slices as well as pepperoni, and then you got crushed uh, peppers and Parmesan if you want to put on it. I just noticed this lonely station over here is where they have the breakfast foods. Here's some cereal, different types, frosted flakes. Ah, uh, here's the salad bar different types of greens that you can mix and everything that you can put on it, the dressings. Well, that's it for the salad bar. Yeah, we'll head back to the good stuff. An assortment of fresh fruit. The watermelon looks really good right now. So they've got barbecue beef brisket. Thank you very much. Oh, you can get a jus too. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, you put in a little cup. Yeah. Horseradish. There are, ooh, pork bangers roasted chicken, and then you can get some gravy as well. Heck yes. One of the best things about a buffet, I would say, right here. <laughs> oh, here's some breakfast. So we got pork sausage and bacon and eggs and some papas or some hash browns. The pancakes, oh yeah, French toast. We just had some of that for breakfast. Chocolate chip pancakes and then waffles. 
Yum! Even more breakfast items like yogurt. This one's Greek yogurt over on the right hand side. There's strawberry yogurt, vanilla, and then, oh, over here maybe oatmeal, I would say, right? Yeah, some oatmeal. All right, now this looks awesome. Corned beef hash. We have beef fritters over there in the corner. And then biscuits and country gravy. We also have a omelet station made to order. Looks like he's closing it up about an hour before the actual restaurant closes. Nice and green. Yeah, let's do cheese. Um, we'll do cheddar. Yeah, man, look at all that cheese. That is just the way to do it. And I'll see you in town. All right, I'll be here. Thank you. One hell of an omelet. That just made my plate so heavy. <laughs> All right, that was the last thing that I grabbed. Here is our plates. Grabbed multiple just in case they start closing it up. Here's Eddie's plate. A whole bunch of meat. Oh yeah, you got you got the biscuits and gravy too. Look at that. Super cheesy. Oh yeah, just the way I like it. Yeah, this is a really dang good omelet. And I really like the worker, the gentleman that was making the omelet for me, the chef that was making the omelet for me. He made it extra special, I would say. Where it's at, yep, 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 yep. Get some au jus. Oh, just, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Eddie says that the brisket's really good. We gotta try this first. It's got a nice, like, smoky flavor to it, but it's not very strong. And then um, the seasoning too, I'd say it's got a nice season to it without being overly powerful because you can still taste the actual brisket. When I was a kid, I used to come out and do a lot of the buffets when in the 90s, definitely was a lot more affordable. And I don't ever remember coming to the MGM for the buffet. I feel like I would have some sort of memory of it, but I I don't, this might be my first time here. We used to go to the one in the Excalibur, the Luxor, the Rio was the best one. That one is still closed. Don't think it'll ever reopen. That was the best one. Uh, the Suncoast, the Bellagio, the Tropicana. A few of those are still open. I will say there's not as many stations as I thought there was gonna be. Uh, like, I thought there'd be more different types of cuisines, like more international. We saw the seafood, but I didn't really see Mexican or I think they might have had two plates of for like Chinese food, but there was not that much option besides from classic American. But hey, you can't go wrong with classic American like biscuits and gravy and turkey and brisket. All this so far has been so good. I'm really excited about the ribs. The ribs look like they have a lot of meat on it. And then this pasta or tortellini, uh, you know, I already forgot, but this was something that looked really, really good. I think it puts a little too much of it on my plate. And of course, fried shrimp. We got the mashed potatoes and a slice of watermelon. I really like the mashed potatoes. They're very, very creamy. Kind of a garlic flavor, definitely buttery. Like cheese inside of this with Alfredo sauce. This is good. Eddie just came back with more. But seriously, where else but a buffet can you do this? Pizza and sushi <laughs> on one plate. <laughs> Basically. What is that? Oh, like a little hand cut roll? Yeah, like veggie. The ribs are really tender. The meat just slides right off of the bone. It's got a very smoky flavor to it. A good barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, everything so far has been pretty good. But any stations you can grab all you can eat of the ones that you really like like right now I love the pasta the prime not the prime rib the brisket the ribs the shrimp the fried shrimp not like I would go back and get more of these oh the mashed potatoes the omelet was bomb everything so far has been really good I think the real test is the dessert what do we've got here apple pie chocolate cake carrot cake oh these are the no sugar added by the way, that you just grabbed, Eddie. <laughs> he said, we'll see. There is a lemon cake, German cake, black forest cake, marble, chocolate, carrot cake. We just had a whole bunch of that from Costco. 
We've got the rice cakes. What is that? Neapolitan? That's interesting. And brownies probably right there. They have a few different types of salad serve. They have one that's more like sorbet, so they've got coconut and mango, and then they've got the, the classics, the chocolate and the vanilla. They might be having a little bit of issue with the vanilla, which I really hope not because I want one of those. We're definitely gonna do a mango as well. Oh, oh why is it? I'm not, oh, I'm not doing this very nice. Oh, not very graceful. <laughs> All right, let's try this again with the vanilla. on top of the dish. They were cones. All right, let's go. In a hot plate, on oh, the ice cream is a little odd. It's turning into soup very really quickly. It must have just came straight out of the uh, dishwasher. I feel like over at the Excalibur, mm -hmm. the ice cream was my favorite thing. And it was like the same basic soft serve. But for whatever reason, this is just, this is just okay. I'm gonna try the mango. It's too bad they don't have Dole Whips. Ooh, they have Dole Whip. I'd be like, five stars. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like. Kind of topical. <laughs> German chocolate cake. And lemon cake. Yeah, chocolate and then lemon. That sounds like it'd be good together. Ooh, this tart. That's pretty good. I like this over the ice cream, which is very weird to hear that out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm such an ice cream freak. Especially vanilla, especially with sprinkles. It just wasn't my favorite. They also have a bar here where you can get all you can drink for $21.99, which would include champagnes, mimosas, house wines, and then bottled beer. I think for the weekend prices, it probably isn't worth it. But if you're coming during the weekday at that $27 price, then I'd say come on down. I did wish that they had a few more stations, a few more options available, but everything that I did try, I really enjoyed. There was nothing wrong with anything besides from the soft serve. For whatever reason, I didn't like the soft serve, which is really weird for me to say. But if you do get a two for one on the My Vegas app, 100% worth it. I am full, I am stuffed. Eddie enjoyed his meal as well. Definitely not something that I would go out of my way for, but if you're already staying here at the MGM or one of the hotels next by, it's a pretty good option. Until next time, please subscribe for more adventures in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.